Good morning, boys and girls. Um, today is Wednesday, March 18th, 2020, and this is our 134th day of school. And so we're not at school, but hopefully you guys are doing school at home, and I know it's a little bit different, but um, hopefully you have your packet that your parents picked up for you, um, and you've had a chance to check that out and maybe get started on some papers. I've had a few friends um, complete some papers and they've uploaded them on Seesaw to me. Um, they've recorded their voices and I've loved seeing that. Um, I miss you guys so much. Um, but this morning's video is just gonna be us um, counting some days of school and then I'm gonna go through some of the papers in the packet and then um, I'm gonna make some more videos and shoot those out to you guys. So let's get started. Um, so we are going to break down our 134 days of school. So I had in my closet a green basket and so I've got some papers and I taped this paper up here. I had one day to take everything from our classroom and bring it home to my house and try to have what I needed to teach you guys. Um, so I taped a piece of paper up here and I'm going to use a red and a blue and I don't have our little yellow pocket chart with our rods and our cubes, but usually in our pocket chart, we have our big square that equals 100. And it's really like 100 ones, right? 100 cubes. And then we have our rods, our 10 rods. And so it's 134, so we need 110. 20, 30, and I want to make sure that I label those. And so inside here, I'm going to put 10, oops, sorry, 10 and 10. Let me scratch that out. Mistakes happen. And then I'm going to put four ones for 134. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to put one, 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 one. So it's 100. 110, 120, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134. And then I'm gonna write a number sentence that goes with that. And so I'm gonna say 100 plus 30 plus four all together is 134. Now I have a challenge for you. Um, we have a total of 180 days of first grade. And so I'm wondering if there's any of you at home who would be able to, on a piece of paper, um, show how many days of school we have left. If you start with 180 days of school and you take away the 134 days of school that we've already had, I'm wondering how many days of school are left. And so you could upload a video to Seesaw and you could record your voice and um, let me know what you think about how many days of school we have left. And maybe you could let me know if um, it would be okay to share that with um, families on our Class Dojo app. Um, so yeah, I would love to see that from you guys. So now I'm going to move on to maybe some things that you guys want to do today, okay? Um, in a little while, I am going to send some videos out about what I have over here in our pocket chart. So in your packet, um, you guys have your front cover letter and on here, it shows some websites that you guys can go onto and it's just iReady and Raz Kids and Go Noodle. So I know that you guys are inside and I'm hoping that you guys are getting a chance to move your bodies around and going to Go Noodle is really helpful. There's actually um, a new feature on Go Noodle where um, you can access those videos at home for free. And so you might need a grown up to help you do that. But if not, there are some Go Noodle videos on YouTube. And there's also the Cosmic Kids Yoga Lady on YouTube, and she's super fun. Um, so check that out um, for ways to move your body. Um, if you go on to Raz Kids, um, I upped all of your reading levels on Raz Kids, so you should have access to some more stories. So if you have time, maybe check out two Raz Kids stories that you haven't had a chance to read yet. Um, if you want to go on iReady, you can, but um, if you don't, no big deal. Um, so I'm going to show you in your packet, 
you also have some phonics. And so phonics is um, the way that we learn to read, the sounds that letters make, and so we are working on long vowels. And so in a little while, I'm gonna shoot out a video to you guys um, with these papers and talk a little bit more about um, the silent E and the silent E makes the vowels say its name. And remember, it, um, it changes that vowel sound. So on this paper, it would change that vowel sound from A ah to the long A, A. And so at the bottom, you would write a sentence and our friend Abby G, she um, completed a couple of these papers and she sent it on Seesaw and she recorded her voice reading that sentence that she wrote at the bottom and that was really cool to see. Um, so go ahead and give that a try if you're able to. Um, also, we have for math, I'm gonna make a couple videos for math for you guys. And so there are some word problems um, and you have number choices. And so again, on that video that I'm gonna make for you, I will do a couple of these. And then you also have some papers where we are practicing telling time. And I bet that um, these will go pretty quickly for you. I'm going to show some of these to you on that math video, so don't worry too much about that. But um, yeah, so we're just going to practice on telling time to the hour. And in your packet also, on that cover letter, there is a video right here on YouTube. If you click that into YouTube, it's a video um, from Rock and Learn all about telling time. Um, and I forgot to mention there's a video for Rock and Learn also on the um, love long vowel sounds. So check that out if you have time. Um, let's see what else do we have for this week. We've got some social studies in science. And so uh, we've got our scholastic news that's all about Ireland. And so you got that in your packet. And yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. I'm not sure if maybe you had a chance to wear some green or do something fun. Um, there are some worksheets that go with that. Again, if you guys complete these and you upload those to Seesaw, I'd love to see those. Um, you don't have to, it's totally optional. Okay, just try your best, no big deal. Um, if you go on to Scholastic right now, um, online, if you go to scholastic.com, there's a bunch of free stuff on there for you guys to do. And it, it might not match this, but um, if you want to check that out, that's something else that you guys are able to do from home that's really good for kids. Um, for reading this week, I put a couple different things in for reading. Um, if we were at school, we would be doing a lot of work right now with um, ocean animals. And so remember, we started learning about sea otters. And so this week, we're actually going to start learning a lot about starfish. And so um, there's a link right here to a level J book but it reads it to you and it highlights the words in yellow for you. And um, it's called Ocean Animals. And so this is a book that's actually on our reading A to Z, just like we do in our classroom. So I would really encourage you to check that out. Um, there's also another video that's just a fun read aloud story and it's by Eric Carl and it's called Mr. Seahorse. So if you log on to YouTube, you can listen to that story being read to you. And so that's always fun. And so when, when a grown up reads a story to you, the really important thing for you to do is to be able to retell that story. And so um, doing that five finger retell and looking at the setting and where that story took place, who the characters are, um, is there a problem? What happened? T talk about the beginning, the middle and the end and how did they fix their problem? What was the solution? How did they make everything okay in the end? Um, and then there's also this page right here, and I'm gonna make a video about this one also. Um, it's called At the End. And so a lot of these have, um, or this passage actually has a lot of sight words that you know, and there are some questions to answer at the end. So again, I'm gonna make a video about this so that you guys kind of have an idea of some things that you can be paying attention to when you are reading that. Um, and then I'm also gonna upload a video of me reading a story to you and the story that we're gonna be looking at um, is this story called Starfish. And then we're also gonna be looking at the story called Anna and the Sea Star. So um, again, throughout the day today, I'm gonna to be uploading videos with all of these things for you. Um, the last thing that we're gonna talk about is writing. And so this week in writing, um, I included an assignment for you where you could write about a special party that you attended. And so there's actually two pages for you. And so I think um, what would be a really good idea, and I actually messaged this to your parents in Dojo, and it even says it on this letter right here, 
um, is that if you would like to write this story out on some scratch paper or some extra paper from your house first, just to make sure that you um, have a plan for your writing, that you've got um, words like first, I did this, and next, and then, and last, and that you make sure that you've got capitals at the beginning of your sentences and spaces between your words, a period at the end, or maybe even an exclamation point because you're excited about that party. Um, maybe writing all of that on a separate piece of paper first and making sure that it looks exactly the way that you want it to look. And then you would transfer that or take that writing and put it onto these pages. And there are spaces where you could um, draw some pictures that go with that. And this would be really cool for you guys to um, upload onto Seesaw and record yourselves reading your writing. Because remember, um, writers always read their own writing to make sure that it sounds exactly the way that they want it to. So um, hopefully you guys are getting a chance to get some work done at home. Um, I know that you might be helping grown-ups out at your house, maybe getting some cleaning done. Um, maybe you've gotten to sleep in. Um, but I miss you guys, and I hope that everything is good. Uh, message me if you need to. Um, so yeah, be looking for some more videos throughout the day. Thanks a lot, guys.